Good day, guys. Welcome to my RX Wise V2 video. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about NRL Finals Week 2 recap preview for 2025. So, let's get started. So starting off with that first match of that game, we see the Roosters going up against Raiders. Now that game was absolutely tremendously hard. That one was just a grand final rematch, but it didn't really look like it was a grand final rematch because last time the Roosters played against Raiders, it was at Ainsley Stadium and was the actual grand final. But then it's got swapped over because the Roosters, though, they have won against um, the Raiders. But then apparently um, they were going about this six again call, which I probably don't know what they're talking about. And like, I was just furious about that anyway, because I was seeing at the Raiders um, in, in that grand final and seeing how the Raiders obviously got so embarrassed about that. But yeah, what can you do? Really? But it was definitely 22 points to 18 for that scoreline. And it was a grand final rematch, but then the Raiders took it home for a really good win in that game, and I just thought that game was absolutely splendoring match, and I just have to say, well done from the Raiders for really taking it really hard and making it a really good effort, and I just have to say, like, really well done from them, and credit to them um, for making a really good match of that game, but yeah, well done to them. But let's have a look at the Roosters trials, but the only... Um, Two tries that was obviously scored was um, James, Tedesco, James Tedesco that scored two, two tries and Joseph Manu. And let's have a look at the Raiders tries. What we have here is uh, Josh Papali, George Williams, Joseph Tarpany and Jack Whiten. And um, my player of the game was certainly this player that was just absolutely splintering player of the game. And I just have to say, I'm going to have to go with uh, Jack Whiten from the... Raiders, number six, and yeah, I'm just going to have to go with him because he was absolutely incredible to start off with um, the team, and I just have to say, without him, they will struggle, and I'm going to have to say, like, yeah, if they would have, they would have struggled, but yeah, he played a really good match, and yeah, he's my player of the game anyway. And last but certainly not least, we see the Eels going up against Rabbitohs. Now, this game was absolutely splintering game. I just have to say, I was there doing the vlog um, at Parramatta, like basically, basically Bankwest Stadium. Uh, so go check that out. Um, yeah, it's really good. And I, I was there at that match. Um, so go check it out anyway. Um, but I was there with Entertaining House, and that he was just absolutely embarrassed by how the way we didn't play really good football. And the Rabbitohs just really demolished us. They absolutely demolished us. And I just kind of have to say by the Rabbitohs, they are a really good team. And by the supporters, the fans out there that obviously like the Rabbitohs, I'm just going to have to say credit to you guys for making a really good match out there. And, yeah, you really took it home um, with an absolute splintering heart of a football team. But it was definitely 38 points to 24 for that score line anyway, and I just have to say, it was an absolute, it was an absolute incredible match, and yeah, really splintering game of football, and it was very close because I thought to myself, were the Eels gonna continue, basically for a, a win, or were they gonna like lose, and they lost, apparently, because they keep on going. But they were just struggling at the moment. But with no Mike Ostevo and Blake Ferguson, this, like, the players, the squad for the Paramount Eels were absolutely, like, 50 50. 50 saying they were great, and then 50 saying they were terrible. But, yeah, what can you do, really? Um, but the only two tries that basically uh, scored for the Eels was Clint Gutterson and George Jennings. Let's have a look at the Rabbitohs tries. What we have here is Jackson Paulo that scored two tries, Liam Knight, Cameron Murray, Bailey Serenin, and Damian Cook. 
In my play of the game, went to number five from the Rabbitohs, Jackson Paulo. I thought he had a really good game, scoring two tries out there for his team. He doesn't really score, um, but yeah, well done for him for making a really good effort and scoring two tries anyway for his team. Thanks so much for watching my video, guys. Stay tuned for more. We'll be doing a couple of videos coming to you guys soon. Also, we'll be doing more videos coming to you guys soon, so stay tuned for more. Plus, leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care, guys. Stay safe and have a good one. Plus, let's get up to 200 subscribers. We're sitting on 180 anyway, so thank you very much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate all you guys that love me. So yeah, stay tuned for more. I know we'll be doing a couple more videos coming to you guys soon. So let's get up to 200 subscribers anyway. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.